What's up guys? This is Kyle from Vapor Hut, driven by you, fueled by vapor. And today I'm doing a special review of the HANA V200. I have been waiting to get my hands on this product for quite some time now, and I am very excited to say it is awesome. I'm sure you guys are as excited, if not more, about this product as I am. So let's just dive into the close up, get all up close and personal with her, and then we'll come back out and I'll talk about it a little bit and tell you why I love this thing. So here is the HANA V200. Got this nice laser etched logo on the side. And then both sides of the device have these grooves that make it a little easier to hold. And this whole thing's made out of 6061 billet aluminum, so it's really light and extremely durable. We have our micro USB charging port there on the bottom. A little cutout here for the buttons. The 510 pin is spring loaded. And you guys might have noticed the buttons look a little wonky. So as you can see, the power down is kind of angled that way. The power up is kind of angled that way. Um, these buttons actually spin. So as you can see, I can just turn all these buttons. The power button, same thing. I can turn it. I don't know the purpose behind that. Um, it's really not a big deal. If you have OCD, it might get on your nerves. You might find yourself constantly making sure they're nice and straight. But honestly, you're really not going to notice it much. And the battery in here is a 950 ma 11.1 volt LiPo, uh, which equates out to about 2,850 ma's at 3.7 volts. So just like every other HANA, this device will turn off on its own. So once you turn it on, it takes about 10 minutes of being idle to turn off, and then it'll just be five clicks. But once it is on, five clicks won't turn it off, but it will lock the device. So now it's locked and I can't adjust anything when it's locked and then I click it five times and now it's unlocked. And to adjust the temperature, what you wanna do is lock the device, so five clicks, and then hold the power up, power down at the same time. Hold the change temp and then there we are. And if we wanted to turn off temperature control, we'd go all the way up to 600 and then past that it says off. And then what you do is you just five clicks to take you back out. So we're gonna take it to about 450. Five clicks. And now we're at 450 degrees. Now that's all you need to know in order to use this device. But this device can do so much more. If we hold the power up, power down, we're gonna lock the power. Power locked. So now we can't adjust the power, but we could still fire it and check atomizer because there's nothing on here. But once the power is locked, if you press the power up or power down or either one twice, now you're adjusting your profiles. So you can have up to eight profiles and all of these profiles are basically like presets. So my profile one is at 40 watts, 450 degrees. If I go to my profile two, I had it set to 17 watts, 450 degrees. And now if I unlock the power and I adjust those wattage, let's just say 18.1, and I lock it again. Now I can go to back to profile one and back to profile two, and there's my 18.1 watts saved. Now I could also adjust the temperature and it would save to that profile too as well. But you don't have to edit these profiles manually. In fact, there's a whole lot more you can do with them using the eScribe software. So right now we're looking at the eScribe software and you can see there's a tab for every one of your eight profiles and you can set a custom screen, you can adjust the power, the temperature, you can choose whether you want ohms lock on or off, you can change the coil material, your preheat power, preheat punch, preheat time limit. And in real time, you can look at the graph of your temperature as it's heating up and adjust your preheat punch, preheat power settings to your taste. So if you want your coil to ramp up really quickly to that temperature, you can play around with those settings to get it just how you want it. There's a whole list of custom screens that you can edit. And you can edit the display, you can orientate it to the left, to the right, you can change your battery meter, you can look at how long your battery is lasting you. 
Basically, this software allows you to take vaping to a whole new level. It is absolutely crazy, all of the settings and all of the raw data you can get off of this Evolve chip. So last but certainly not least, as its name implies, this is a 200 watt device, which just makes this thing not only an awesome temperature control device, but an awesome dripper device. I mean, 200 watts is just really high. So we'll go ahead and take this all the way up and it will go faster and faster. And here we go, 200 watts. I'm using a 0.16 ohm coil. So I got my Poseidon coil on here right now and just watch how fast this ramps up. Instant. I mean, I think this is a true 200 watts. And this is the warmest vape I've ever had. So that is the HANA V200. I honestly think this device and this chip is gonna take this industry to a whole new level. Pairing this with the software gives you more data than you could have ever asked for and the freedom to customize your vape exactly how you want it. I am extremely impressed with this device. I gotta say, the HANA V200 is by far the coolest temperature control device I've ever used. It's extremely easy to use. If you're a new user, it's not overbearing. You don't have to use that eScribe software. HANA says you need to register with the eScribe in order to use it, you don't. Um, but if you're a more advanced user and you wanna be able to control everything, Download that eScribe software because it is amazing. You can see real-time graph output of everything your coil is doing. You can adjust the preheat power and boost and uh, the preheat time limit. You can change your custom screens. You can add a welcome message. I mean, just the amount of uh, functionality you have with that software it just takes this device above and beyond. It's definitely a leaps and bounds above the competition in terms of customizability. So I gotta say, I am extremely impressed with Hanna's new V200. In my opinion, it's definitely a step up from the Hanna one. Well, this has been Kyle from Vapor Hut, driven by you, fueled by vapor. Have a great day, guys.